Hello, friend. Welcome. This is our Android Chess uh, project written in Kotlin. In this video, um, let's play with a cool syntax uh, of Kotlin um, handling the nullable using the word, the keyword let. Okay. So let's make it bigger here and we can hide this one for now so i'll write a new code to replace this exactly four lines of code okay using a cool new syntax um, of coloring using let to handle this like we don't need to to uh, check this uh, now or not explicitly we can use something like that so here we get our this function call right return return our nullable piece so we can use chess model dot piece at here is same now this guy is the type is nullable um, chess piece so we can use dot let like that so this means inside the the code block here we can make sure um, it's not now if it's not if it's now the return uh, value is now then it will skip mm, the code in this block okay so now we can do draw piece add canvas same thing and uh, column and the row and uh, now it's not piece we don't have piece it's it okay the special um, keyword or variable representing whatever returned in this function call it's called it okay it is a special thing dot press id and here what i missed is a question mark yeah now this one is doing exactly same as this one okay so yeah you can play with that try to get used to this cool uh, syntax yeah so we don't need to check whether it's now or not right explicitly is hidden here so it means dot let it means let it let it uh, be the non now actual value of that and uh, if it's if it's now then everything is ignored right this logic is exactly what we need okay so now let's give it a try coming out that to see we still have the same thing out yes right okay now let's clean up this code and uh, we can make a commit okay let's double check where we are yes and uh, git commit refactored refactored and code with explicit now check we refactor code with using um, Kotlin let sync text okay
yeah and uh, another thing I always want to do is to make our code uh, more readable okay like this one drawing our chessboard right so this part we can improve the, this part by abstracting our helper function to do draw for example draw square okay private func draw square at column and row and uh, um, color we can use a boolean here like is light or is dark okay is dark is dark square right boolean yeah this one so we can simply um, copy those things and put it here of course we don't have i and j and uh, so e stock will be here right if can we do that if it's that no we have we need the we do need the parentheses okay oh canvas of course we need the canvas like that now here the i is our column J is our row. Yeah. Right. Now let's replace um, the two lines here using our function call. So draw square. Canvas, of course, colon um, is colon is I um, row is J and uh, what's the else? Oh, the color. Mm, okay, so color is this guy, E stock, right? That's the condition. Now let's give it a try. Run it. Yeah, it works, right? The 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 top left, the top left corner is. The top left co color. Wow! It happens again. Okay. Yeah, we didn't change the behavior, so we successfully uh, refactored the code to make it more readable. Yeah. Right. It's so neat. Draw squirrel at i and j. So. We can say um, row and the column, right? Something like that. Um, a column, row. Is that okay? Um, I is our row. And uh, yeah, let's keep it consistent like that. Let's try it again. If I mess things up, it doesn't matter. We can switch, simply switch this. Yeah, oh, it works. <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's make another commit.
So um, we factored and draw chessboard. Um, by um, creating a new function draw square at right like that cool thank you for watching see you next